what is up my beautiful people i was sent this gorgeous transparent lace wig she comes courtesy of af sister wig and the dope thing about this is there's this new invisible knot technology and i'm going to tell you all about it in this video so for starters this is what the wig looks like straight out of the plaque the knots are already bleached they've added the elastic band there's combs in the front one in the back you have your adjustable straps and they've also included your elastic band so if you're a beginner or you're just lazy like I get sometimes you literally have to put in minimal work so for me the first step is going to be to remove all of the excess lace now the reason this is my first step is because there was absolutely nothing I needed to do to the hairline because they use this new invisible knot technology, it makes it so that the grids or, you know, the grid or grainy look that you get on your lace is much less undetectable. I'm going to bond her down by using my Got To Be Glue gel. I'm using the gel in the black. This was my favorite for, I want to say, a year, maybe even two years straight until I found the Got To Be Glued spray. I absolutely still love this. I just feel like it's quicker and easier to use the spray. Now they did include the transparent lace. Transparent lace in theory is an amazing, amazing, amazing idea. But when it comes to my brown skin, the transparent lace always shows up a little bit more white. So I went ahead and added the Got To Be Glued spray on top just to kind of make it not look so white. Now of course that's going to dry and I'm going to have to use a powder. But you'll see I'm going to make it look so amazing in the end. Now again, this was pre-plucked, so I did not pluck out anything. They do kind of go for the more over-plucked look with this wig, which is super popular on Instagram. I absolutely love this look. I'm going to balance it out with a very nice baby hair. Of course, baby hair is not everyone's taste, but I absolutely love it. The only mistake I made was that I did keep the baby hair much longer. Today is like two days later after I filmed this video and I definitely did go back in and trim the baby down, the baby hair down much shorter and it does make a huge difference. They did give me a coupon code for you guys and it's Ashley10 and you'll get money off. If I did not mention, I did use a foam lotion to go ahead and create the baby hair and I'll have that as well as everything I use listed in the description box. After I formed the baby hair, I kind of wanted to go ahead and dry while I went ahead and did my makeup off camera. So I used these little strips and I got these from Amazon as well. You can pick them up at your local beauty supply. And I just allowed the hair, the baby hair, the hairline to go ahead and dry and form while I did my makeup. I used two of the strips, one, um, you know, wrapped one and then wrapped one on top of that. Now, as I've been telling you guys, I've been sleeping on the contour powders. The contour powders are absolutely the GOAT with the hairline. It's going to go ahead and make the hairline look so much better and so much more realistic. I'm going to go ahead and continue to play the baby hair until I get it exactly how I want. And then we're going to go ahead and move it on to styling the wig. Now, this wig is 13 by 6 lace front. So, you get 16, 6 inches of parting going backwards, which is plenty and it makes me super happy when I get this. The texture of the hair is silky straight. I'm using an electric hot comb and I'm also going to use a flat iron as a way to get the hair super straight. I believe I flat ironed it off camera but I definitely did use the hot comb you know around all of the roots and edges to get them super flat and straight and laid. The only product I used was Oil Sheen. I don't think you guys see this on camera, but I used the Garnier Nutrice Silk and Sheen, I believe it's called, or Sleek and Shine. I'll have it listed in the description bar, but I did use that on the camera, or off camera, after I went ahead and um, straightened the hair to kind of give it more of a shiny, you know, salon ready finish. I was going to do a deep side part and decided at the very last minute to go ahead and do a high ponytail. What's key to me with high ponytails is to go ahead and use that high comb to make the hair for the ponytail super flat, super straight, you know, make it just as sleek as possible. And with this process, you just mess with it and play with it. Make sure that you leave a nice amount of hair parted in the back so that you don't see any tracks. And you kind of want to go with the wax and kind of help, um, you know, to lay that down so that it does not have any flyaways or the hair is not moving and showing tracks and anything weird back there. You want everything to look like you just paid a million bucks to get your hair done at the salon. Even if you did it yourself at home. 
Now, another thing I did was I used a large rubber band or hair tie. This is like the Ouchless Elastics from Target. And I used this even though the hair that I put up was pretty thin. And the reason I did this because I wanted the hair to stand up tall. I did take a piece of that hair and I wrapped it around, all the way around, and then I sprayed it down with got to be glued spray so that it would stick. And that worked awesome. And then of course I went ahead and finished it off with a little bit more of my contour powder. And everything looks amazing. I absolutely love the way my um, ponytail kind of sits up a little bit high. This is the packaging that the wig came in originally. They gave me a handwritten note. They gave me my um, elastic band and they gave me some wig combs and of course my wig cap. And that pretty much was it. Before I forget, they did give me a coupon code. It is actually 10 and you can use that to get money off. I believe it's $10 off or no, 10% off of your purchase now what's cool and what's different about this one is that this is a invisible not lace wig and they did use transparent lace and basically it gives the illusion of the lace being not free um they say each knot is hand tied which makes it undetectable for a scalp like appearance this wig comes with bleach knots and transparent lace so one thing I've learned over time is transparent lace is not my BFF. I think it's a beautiful and a great idea for everyone. But when it comes to brown girls, transparent lace does not equate to um, this uh, invisible appearance without still having to go ahead and add a concealer or a, a foundation or something to make the actual lace blend. Now, once the lace blends, I was able to add my contour, contour powder. The lace to me is very beautiful. You can see it's pre-plugged. I did not tweeze or plug anything. If you are into the over-plugged look, which is very popular and what I do love, this is pretty much what I got. Now, I did go heavy on the baby hair, and that was just out of personal preference. I have been kind of um, not wearing baby hair so much in real life, so I was missing it, and I went hard. But, of course, if you don't like a lot of baby hair, you definitely can just do what looks good and what feels good to you now as far as the wig itself this is a 13 by 6 lace front wig it's 150 percent density and the texture is silky straight i kind of like to use um my email as a guide sometimes because i don't remember everything so i definitely feel like the more innovative these companies get with helping us out by pre-plucking the hairline adding the elastic band, doing amazing things with the lace and the knots and all of that. It makes it so much easier for the everyday beginner to be able to just go ahead and buy a lace and not have to be a pro or expert. Especially when you have people like me here on YouTube who do reviews and tutorials and teach you how to install and give you, you know, an idea of what are great products to use to go ahead and get a great install. Again, the transparent lace is great if you are a more lighter complected person. For me, you guys can see it still just come up white on me, but to counteract that and to fix that, I definitely did use my contour powder and I've been loving that this week. Um, I've also had a few people like message me, DM me, um, and tell me and give me suggestions about using a lace spray. Um, I've seen a couple, a few companies that offer it. So I am maybe thinking about buying some just to try it out. But that is definitely it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned one thing or two from this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you are loving the tutorials, the reviews, and all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out AF Sister Wig. Use my coupon code to get money off. Also, a list of everything I used to create this look is listed in the description bar. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.